Hi there, it's Counselor Jay. Let's dive into a quick little tip session about supplemental materials. Uh, first thing I want to note is that every school is going to have a different expectation approach to submitting supplementary materials. Uh, some students think that if you are considering a supplemental material, you must either be a music student or an art student but that's not always going to be the case. In fact, a lot of the schools I'm showcasing right now, um, Brown right here, has a music and visual art submission. So the visual art is pretty interesting. Um, it, it couldn't be indicative of perhaps maybe digital art, maybe AutoCAD design art. Maybe you did like, you know, 3D prosthetic designs, and those could also be uh, elements that you could try to include. So you don't have to always be a music major or an art major to apply, though I understand that there are schools that will say, do not send us any submissions unless you are X major or Y major. The only way you'll be able to figure all that out is literally to go through each of your colleges and find out. Um, you also note that some schools, Brown included, have not just a uh, submission information or, or instructions for music or visual arts, but take a look at this. They have an academic paper research abstract. And so you'd have to submit it through a, a Brown applicant portal. And that becomes a little bit more complicated. Uh, but case in point, if you are a pretty competitive student right now, or let's say it another way, you are a student that wants to showcase more of the, the, the extracurricular side that is tangible, um, that shows research, then you should be looking up all of your college's procedures for how to submit those types of materials. Uh, another example of this would be Stanford. Stanford is going to ask that you uh, have a admission arts portfolio or recorded arts portfolio. So they seem to be a little bit more specific about what kind of portfolios you could submit. Uh, whereas if you go to a place like UCLA, UCLA, oh my goodness, look at all this. And they even have separate deadlines for all the different types of supplemental applications you'd have to submit depending on your major choice. Uh, and you could take a look at that. If you are any of the following majors, uh, if you're interested in applying to any of the following majors, please, guys, pay attention. There are some earlier deadlines to this. Um, what I ask my students to do, I've been kind of working on an, an updated spreadsheet where they can track their deadlines. As you can see, I started giving some basic information about it. Uh, or filling it out. Um, it's not up to date or, or, or completely filled out yet. I just wanted to show kind of a working concept. But here I have Brown. Let's say I'm applying, I'm applying early decision to the school, in which case it'd be by November 1st. Uh, in the previous email or in the previous video I uploaded maybe five, six videos ago, I mentioned the interview process. If you actually look up Brown's interview process, let's see, Brown interview then you're gonna see that it's pretty darn unique. They offer an opportunity to submit a two minute personal video. Again, my, my, my advice from the interview section applies here, whether you should do this or not. If you're not sure, you should probably check that out. Um, but yeah, did you know that they have a deadline for this of November 4th or January 9th, depending on if you're gonna apply early decision or regular decision or QuestBridge. It says even QuestBridge right here as well. So I made sure to start including that information. If I'm going to apply early decision to it, then I need to remind myself that I have an interview due by 11-4. Um, in fact, I'd probably do it this way. That way the, the deadlines become very important to me. I'd probably put that in red too and bold it so I can make sure I don't forget that. All right? So there you go. Uh, the supplemental submission, let's say I intended to submit uh, a visual arts portfolio then I'm gonna go back to Brown and I'm just probably gonna link this and mention, I'd read through the details, submit via slide room and start getting used to some of the details there. You have to review all of this. Now's the time, uh, organize yourself. Last thing I wanna note is this extra little thing. I like having a separate Google Doc for each of the schools you're gonna be applying to and then having a separate set just for, just for when you're drafting the essays. So as you see right here, I just put it thing, uh, included Brown's essays. Uh, I pulled it from college essay advisors. I don't recommend you do that all the time because sometimes the essay question types that they show on their website is not the right one for you. You remember your essay can change based on the major choice and the department you apply to. So the best way to do it honestly is to actually fill out the Common App, Squire, whatever app, 
and then start extracting or what I call harvesting the essays directly from the app itself after you filled out your major choice, your start term fall 2023 in this year, uh, things like that. But yeah, I hope that this is helpful. Please, guys, if you are trying to uh, give it your all to school, you should be looking up if there is a supplemental submission process that aligns with something that you can offer and be prepared for that. Alrighty, guys. See you guys again.